Hello everybody, it is Aaron here. And today we're gonna do something fun with a wise thing client. We're gonna put an OS on it. So what you need is to take your thin client apart, upgrade your RAM, because it only comes with 256 or 128, to 512. I believe the board can only read up to 512. All right, you need one of these, which is an IDE, a micro IDE uh, ribbon. And uh, you need to pull the original hard drive off, which is a little, there we go, original hard drive, which is one of these, just a little flash drive thingy that has an IDE port on the bottom. So you want to pull that off, put the ribbon on, use a laptop hard drive, all right, doing good so far. Um, I wired mine up with a external USB DVD drive and we're gonna load the operating system through that. When you uh, boot this wise thing client up, you're gonna have to uh, go into the BIOS, and in order to get in, the password is Fireport with a capital F. This is a wise V10L thing client. All right, I think they're 300 bucks or something. So we have a bunch kicking around at the office. Let's give it a whirl. This is booting thin client with Ubuntu on it. Running on this hard drive right here. This is even plugged in. All right, let's take a look. So that's a pretty long boot. But for a thin client, eh. All right, we're booted up. Uh, I have it in, plugged into the internet, so we're gonna hit the internet right now. The sound works, the drivers for the ethernet is installed, the video card works, everything out of the box, this thing works. It is a little bit slow, you don't have a powerhouse here, but you're making use of a unused thin client, so I think it's doing pretty good. Web searches are pretty quick. Um, video playback is kind of painful. You do have sound, which will be choppy. I'll just show you the system monitor here. You can get an, an idea of how much resources are being used. Idling, you're sitting at around 80%. I believe it'll give it out to here. Um, your RAM is almost, or it's more than half full. Uh, I don't know exactly if you can put more than 512 RAM in. I tried it once and I think it only read 512. And so, your, my CPU is still isn't coming down here. You have an 800 megahertz Eden C7 VIA CPU is in this thing. Oh, here we go. Starting to come down a bit now. Um, not, not exactly a powerhouse. It will get you online and browsing if that's what you need. Not a permanent solution, but it definitely makes use of unused hardware. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see other cool tech stuff, head on over to my channel. We're going to put a couple of operating systems on this thing client so stay tuned and we'll see you next time